What's holding you back? What's holding you back from being your best self? Um, that could be in a number of different areas um, because we're all faced with different challenges. It could be weight. You could be unhappy with your weight. Uh, you could be happy, unhappy with the food choices that you're making. You could be unhappy where you are at work, uh, the kind of work that you do, uh, or the location. You could be unhappy in a relationship. Uh, you could be unhappy with the amount of physical activity that you're getting. You could be unhappy with your spirituality. And all of these things, when there is a dissatisfaction, will cause you to be out of balance. And my job as an integrative nutrition health coach is to help you bring your life back into balance, whatever that may be. And so there's generally a a lot of different things that could possibly be holding you back. And it could be knowledge. It could be that you're struggling because you don't know what information you need to move forward. You're stuck. You think you need more information maybe until you make that decision to move forward. Maybe you just think it's not the right time. Um, you could be holding out thinking, well, I'll work on that later. Uh, that, it's not that big of a deal. I don't really need to work on that now. So it could be a timing thing. Are you trying to be perfect? I know a lot of folks can get stuck in wanting to have everything just right, all the right things in place. And let's be honest, is there really ever a perfect time? Probably not. Sometimes we just have to make that jump and do the best that we can. Another thing that holds people back are the, is the fear of making a mistake. Are you afraid of making a mistake in whatever it is that you're trying to do? Is it maybe following a different way of eating? Maybe it's um, having a conversation with someone and then you're worried about saying the right things and you might make the relationship worse, but you could make it better. You just don't know, right? What else is holding you back? Could be inspiration. Maybe you haven't been inspired to, to grow in the area that you need to grow. What, what might uh, trigger that for you? What might be that inspiration that you need to help you move forward? Also, let's see, um, the comparison gap. Who are you comparing yourself to? Who do you think you need to be like? You only need to compare yourself to yourself. You are all that matters. Not the person next door, not your coworker, not your friend, not a family member. It's all about you, right? It's you that matters. It's your growth that matters. And finally, the expectation gap. We all have different expectations of, of how we should grow or how we should move forward in, in a situation. Well, that can paralyze us because we think it's got to be a certain way. It doesn't have to be a certain way. Uh, sometimes it's just talking to the right person and finding that there's another solution to a problem that you've only been thinking about it in one way. So maybe it's time to talk to someone and get some different perspectives. So I'm here to help kind of uncover any of that with you. Um, there's a lot of things like I just went through with you that could be holding us back, whether it's perfectionism or timing or knowledge or fear of making a mistake. There's all these things that could be holding us back. Let me help you uncover what's holding you back and keeping you from that ideal you, right? There's always that person that we're striving to be and something's holding us back. We're afraid to make that first step forward and I'm here to offer you help, to make it easy. It doesn't have to be hard. We can break it down really small into really small steps. And I'm here to guide you and support you and help you on your way. So it's time to take a step forward. It's time to break out of your comfort zone and not worry about making those mistakes or being perfect, because nobody is. You may think other people are perfect and, and doing it all right, and guess what? They probably aren't. And they probably made mistakes along the way, and that's totally okay. 
We're, find your group of people that will support you and love you no matter what because we all need a good community around us and when we have that community we feel more successful with our leap right our leap into something new whatever that may be so give it a try what's one small thing you can do today to move you in the direction that has been holding you back that you've been putting off and telling yourself I'll do it tomorrow I'll do it in a month things just aren't quite right whatever that is it's time to do it now if you need help I'm here I'm ready to talk to you I'm ready to give you the time that you deserve to help sort those things out have a great day